Welcome back and it's time to look at another exam question where you'll get the chance to practice your exam question technique. Now you know the format for now so let's jump in and get started straight away with the second exam question. For this lesson we're going to again look at a question first approach and this is the question that we're going to evaluate. The Catagram mobile application uses DynamoDB for its back-end data storage. The Rate My Cat feature, where cats are rated for awesome, is experiencing performance issues. Customers complain of slow load times for the multi-choice How Awesome checkboxes and the cat image. Currently, the ratings and images are stored within DynamoDB. And then the question line itself, which option represents the best fix for this type of problem? Choose one. Now, as with the previous example, the first step after having a quick read of the question is to identify what we think of as keywords in the question text. So which words are key to understanding the scenario and influencing which answers that we select? So have a think briefly about what you think are the keywords in this question, pause the video while you do it, and then when we resume, I'll show you my ideas and we can compare. So go ahead, pause the video and resume once you've identified what you think are your keywords. Now that you've done that, let's go ahead and highlight which keywords I identified and then we can compare. Now this is an interesting question. The keyword which jumped out at me straight away is DynamoDB. And that's important as it suggests that the application uses a NoSQL database structure and that it's designed for scale. But also I spotted backend data storage, which is an odd term, but I'll come back to that in a moment. I also noticed that users of the application were experiencing performance issues which were mentioned as slow load times. Now this could be an application problem or it could be a database problem. The question points out that the checkboxes for the page and the cat image are both loading slow. Now perhaps the most important element of this question is the statement that ratings and images are both stored within DynamoDB. You learned earlier in the course that for DynamoDB all interactions are based on items in a table. No matter what you read or write, you always read or write an item and the maximum size of an item within DynamoDB is 400 KB. Now images, even when resized and compressed, tend to be on the larger side and so straight away that jumps out at me as a potential problem, the fact that we're filling up DynamoDB with large cat images. Now finally in the last line of the question it states what option is the best fix for this type of problem and then suggests that you choose one. Now this is a fairly unique element of a question for the professional and specialty AWS certifications. This suggests that we might have multiple potentially valid options and we need to pick the best. This requires an awareness of the scenario in the question, so at this point we would double check if there are any pointers about cost or security. And in this particular example there aren't any. It also requires an awareness of the DynamoDB product as well as some best practice architectures and at this point you will have covered that in the DynamoDB lessons of the course. So at this point let's load in the available answers and again this time there are a total of four answers and a quick scan of them all shows them to be very different from the others and so we need to perform another round of keyword analysis on the answers. Now once again if you want to give this a go then pause the video and do it yourself and then resume and then we can compare exactly what I highlighted versus the words that you spotted. If you just want to see mine then just wait a few seconds and I'll move on to the next screen where I've highlighted everything that I've noticed in these answers. So this is what I came up with. 
What's interesting is that both the question and answers have a lot of words which add almost no meaning or value to our process. Now I've greyed those out, but it's worth keeping in mind that if you can learn to avoid focusing on any words which don't influence the question or don't add to the answers, then you can save significant amounts of time in the exam. So let's step through these answers and just investigate exactly how well they fit or not to the question. And let's start with the bottom one. Now from the question text, I think the problem is going to be due to storing the images within DynamoDB. All of that binary data within DynamoDB is slowing down reads from the database. Now we have a number of options on how we can solve this problem, but it's useful in questions like this to try and get a feel for what the real root cause of a problem might be. Modifying the DynamoDB table to use on-demand pricing, well that's a potential fix for these performance issues. With on-demand you don't have to worry about manually setting the capacity on a table. It's handled for you by the product. And you'll build based on requests that you make to the database. But, and this is important, it's also very expensive. So on-demand pricing for DynamoDB is not something that you would want to use if cost is a factor. Now if the Catagram application grows, while this answer might work, it's certainly not ideal. And this is why I drew attention to the question where it asked what is the best fix, because while this answer might be possible, it might not be the most ideal. And so we'll mark this at this point as a maybe. Now the second part of the answer is even more interesting. Using an SQS queue to buffer writes is a valid architecture, but it's normally used when provisioned capacity is used. The issue is that when using on-demand pricing, it's not needed. But that doesn't make the answer wrong, so we'll leave this as a potential maybe answer. Next, the top answer. This represents a major change from DynamoDB to Aurora. This means moving from NoSQL to SQL, and this is a big transformation of data. And usually this is a reason to exclude it as an answer, because it can't be done without major work. Keep an eye out in questions for any potential answers which would mean a radical change in data model, because normally that excludes it as a potential answer. And it does in this case, so we're going to mark this answer as not possible. But another point which excludes this answer is using Aurora in a VPC. The application right now is a mobile application using DynamoDB. This means it's probably not configured to access resources within a VPC. So not only does this answer suggest a data model change, but also an architecture change. So in my opinion, this doubly excludes this answer. Now let's look at the second answer. This is a common architecture change using DynamoDB, moving large attributes out of the database into S3 and introducing a URL pointing at that object in its place. The effect that this will have is to reduce the size of items in the database substantially, and this on the surface would affect the performance issues without any other changes. This type of copy can be done quickly, a script can copy the images from DynamoDB into S3 and replace the original attributes in the item with a link pointing at that object in S3, and this will have minimal disruption. Since S3 is also a public service, the application, since it already accesses DynamoDB, which is also a public service, can probably be adjusted to access S3 without any major issues. Now my gut feel on this one tells me that this answer is better than answer 4, so unless anything changes, this is my chosen answer for this question. Now answer 3 proposes that we adjust the RCU and WCU on the table to 10,000 each. The question mentions a rating system, checkboxes. It also mentions slow load times, which suggests reads. So given the answer says increased RCU, which is reads, and increased WCU, which is writes, I'm already doubting this as the potential answer, because it's not ideal to increase both reads and writes when you only have read-based performance issues. 
Additionally, the 10,000 figure seems to come from nowhere. This is often a tell that an answer is wrong. If it has a value explicitly stated, which has no foundation or logic, then probably it's going to be an incorrect answer. Also, while increasing the RCU and WCU values are a possible solution, it isn't really a long-term fix. We have no reason to believe it will solve the issue, since the question doesn't actually say what those current values are. So we don't know if changing to 10,000 will be an increase or a decrease, and so I'm going to exclude this answer. Now this leaves us with two potential answers, answer 2 and answer 4. Now, answer 4 is possible, but not ideal. Answer 2 is possible, and it seems ideal, and so I'll select answer 2 as my correct answer to this question. Now, what did you get? Did you get the same answer as me, or something different? If you selected a different answer, then it's time to evaluate the question as well as the answers to look at why you selected a different answer. You need to get into the habit of correcting assumptions which lead you to select bad answers. That's where the value of this lesson series comes from. At this point, that's everything I wanted to cover, so go ahead, complete the lesson, and when you're ready, I look forward to you joining me in the next.